Week 17 could not have come any sooner. In Cleveland, it's the six, eight and one. Detroit Lions go to Cleveland to take over the four and eleven Cleveland Browns. Another bad season in Cleveland. As I know I said Moses Cody would start this week, but we don't risk him getting injured, so Bryce Petty will make the second start of this Browns career and take on my favorite real life team. Like my favorite team in real life, the Detroit Lions. Now I'm gonna try my hardest. Even though different lines, I'm obviously going to try as hard as I would if it was, per se, the Patriots or the Packers or the Cowboys. Important for one, Cleveland Brown, and that's the number one overall pick of last year's draft. Size Teak Young Blood, he's currently number one in defensive rookie of the year, buddy, but it has been tight all year long. Yeah, Stafford finds Eric Ebron for a gain of 11. To the 28. I want to name this episode the Size Teak Show. That's right, it's all about you, number 98. Mr. Size Teak Youngblood. Is that not Size Teak? But that's a man who owns on who knows how to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. He did it last year. Hopefully, Size Teak can this year. Matt Prater can make it. As a Lions fan, I kind of hope he makes it. But since this is the Browns franchise, I kind of hope he doesn't. But let's see. Kick us up and oh, 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 oh my. Oh my, that's the smell. Barry Davenport going off as Rookie of the Year. But with the year Justin Bartels having. I think it's pretty much out of the question at this point because he's like third, fourth in the MVP running for the Jets, so it's pretty obvious that Barry Davenport won't. Is what a catch by MacGyver! Oh my, what a catch! Which could be his last game as a Brown, but it's blocked! And it's picked up by the looks like Miles Killebrew! And the Lions have excellent field position! See Size Teak make that big play. Size Teak sacks! Sack Stafford! It's the ball now! Picked up by the Bulls! There goes that one! Touchdown! Bulls! Size Teak down by forces and recovers! Okay, I'll take that instead. Manuel Ova! Having himself a game, he's been really quiet all year. 25, 8 seconds left in the first quarter. And the Lions have a 3-0 lead as Bryce Petty. Going to go to the uh, right. Under pressure immediately by Corey Coleman. 18 on the 34th for the Brownies. As Bryce Petty. Finds an open Malik Shields. First down Malik Shields. There goes Malik Shields. He gets brought down for 38. Shields on the 12th for the Cleveland Browns. As Bryce Petty. For my guess, obviously, he's under pressure. Under more pressure, and can't get by Anza. Decided to challenge the sack. I don't know why. I don't know why. I did not do it. This is the dumbest thing. I don't get it. What are you doing, Jim Harbaugh? What are you doing? Yeah. I don't know why Jim Harbaugh did that. that that's really stupid. I don't know why the game let him just do that. That's the most stupid thing. As Patty looking for Coleman, he's in bounds. He caught it. One fool of the Cleveland Browns. Bryce Betty. I'm gonna hand it off to David Johnson and he's in. Touchdown! Cleveland Browns! And the 37 4. The Detroit Lions. As Matt, Matty Stafford is gonna hike it. He's gonna lob it up for Cat Merriam, the rookie! It's caught by Merriam! There goes Cat Merriam! Touchdown! Detroit Lions, their first round pick, rookie Cat Merriam is in. 10 of a 42 for your Cleveland Browns. Petty. Looking down the field for a wide open Barry Davenport. Darius Slate misses him. Touchdown. Barry Davenport and the Browns retake the lead. 2 of a 33 for the Lions. Stafford. Over to a but he gets stuffed up by Jalen Mills. 7 over 28, 4. The Detroit Lions. I want Size Teak to get this third down sack here. As Eric Ebron and Amir Abdullah are in the backfield. Oh, which field really? I mean, I obviously have Abdullah's number one running back, but I should say obviously. But anyway, get Miriam again! There goes Miriam! No, and Miriam! 72 yards, no showboating for Mr. Miriam. But he gets his second touchdown of the day. Slot, round tree, and size teeth spots. The sights, uh, no, size teeth not even on the field this play. He hasn't done much today. This is not yet. And Parrish holding on the Ravens has a solid game he can away. So that's not what we want. Stafford gets sacked by Rankins and someone else. Hey. 
On the 44. The Brown. Teddy. Passes it to Kashim Riley on the screen play. Riley has a first down in! Here's your more! Eric Velasco is on the kick of 58 yard kick. Oh my gosh, he can no, he completely botched it. And the Lions have one second. Second look, it seems like the Lions actually want to go for Hail Mary, which I honestly don't blame them. Um, they're just going two more points. I don't blame them. But I'm very happy because I'm going to get an inner. I'm going to get an extra interception! Vernon Hargraves! He got one last week, but now he has one this week. That's why I was happy they went for a Hail Mary, so I can get a pick. And size T, hopefully uh, he can get a sack or two in the second half just so he can clinch defensive rookie of the year, because we need him to win that award. Brandon Browns are going here now. The drive goal is for David Johnson and Kyle Adani and Tomlinson's touchdown record, which I didn't even notice that David Johnson had a chance of tying any touchdown records as Petty finds her short. Higgins, he gets the first down. David Johnson has like 17 touchdowns this season, I believe. So we're going to make sure we feed him the ball in the end zone. And the 44, I want David Johnson to get both touchdowns. He's actually second in AFC's best running back. So if he gets those touchdowns, then he can, oh my gosh, Bryce Petty had no time. Size he got a safety. That will be absolutely sick. He's not a coverage linebacker. I don't want him covering Eric A. Brown. I want him rushing the passer. As, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 92 yards. Forget safeties. And Vernon Harker is actually caught up to him at the three. Okay. So I seek to stop them on third down. It's not third down. It's second down. But if he can get a sack second down and third down, that would be ideal. That would be ideal. Stafford. That's clearly not a stop. That's an Eric Ebron touchdown. A lot of running the ball and a lot of blitzes for the rest of the game. As Petty definitely made a pass this play, probably one of the last passes of the year. He found Corey Coleman in a big play for Corey Coleman! Which, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that he's making big plays because, I mean, he's Corey Coleman. He makes big plays all the time. That's what he does. That's his job. Last time, it's going to work this time. The Browns are going for it. Definitely a risk, but... Jim Harbaugh, risky, risky man today. And Bryce Petty finds a wide open Corey Coleman. And he's going to make it to the 23. Stop the stats. I mean, at this point, Jim Harbaugh's going a little bit crazy. But David Johnson's not a great on fourth downs. And yeah, he's clearly showing it here. I don't know if David Johnson's going to break it for what he's playing today. As he's just not great. He's very good the world at this point. He has not done anything crazy today. But he needs to. He needs to make some big plays. As Stafford finds Marvin Jones. Now he has a big play. There goes Marvin Jones. And now he's going to get the touchdown. Middle of the 48 for the Cleveland Browns is Bryce Petty. Under pressure, he gets brought down by DeAndre Levy. 20 of the 38 for the Browns. His first Petty could see Riley in the backfield. Petty. Looking down the field for Barry Davenport. He burned his defender. And Barry Davenport gets brought down at the 18. I thought Darius Slay was a beast. Oh, he still is. Obviously, he's a wide fan. He's very good. He's very underrated. He's down the 18 after the big play by the rookie Barry Davenport. The touchdown machine as Bryce Petty. Looking now with for Malik Shields this time. It's caught by Shields, who normally would never catch that. And he's in for the touchdown. 33 on the 7. As we're about halfway done the quarter. As Bryce Petty. And he gets sacked in the end zone for his safety. And it's now 33-21 Detroit. Might be the last offensive drive this season. And all I want to do is have some fun. Petty. Funds Barry Davenport on the slant. First down, Davenport! There goes Davenport to the 40. Now, Justin Martell is 0 for 1 today. I believe he's injured. So, Barry Davenport has a slim chance. Barry has a slim chance, but he has a chance. Let's just say that. As Bryce Petty. Looking down the field for none over than Barry Davenport. Oh, it's caught! But he is hitting Thomas in his first game back from injury. What a catch! This is it for David Johnson. I'm running the ball here. 
because I want David Johnson to have a chance of beating that record. Fourth and goal in the second. Johnson gets by the defender, and he's in! Touchdown, David Johnson! I figured we might as well just go for an onside kick. As Amir Abdullah has struggled today, the kick by Eddie Lee is picked up by Marvin Jones. Actually, have a chance of winning this game. First, Matt Prater to make it. The Browns can drive down the field, get the touchdown, get the two point conversion, and this game will go into overtime. And Matt Prater's kick is up, and it is good. So now the Browns have to drive down the field. They have no timeout in 41 seconds, 65 yards away. They're not 65 yards away, probably a little more than that. Like 75. Four on the 31. This is it. This might be the last play of the Browns. Season as Petty looking for an open court goal and he gets it. Seconds left on the 47. The Browns are gonna have to lob it up. Second and ten on the 47. Bryce Petty gonna lob it for Barrier for Malik Shields by the looks of things and it's incomplete. And the Browns season is over as they drop to four and twelve. And the Lions go to seven, eight, and one. Next episode is going to be the Season 2 recap of over stats, awards, and the playoffs. Hopefully we see Saiki Kumbun as Defensive Rookie of the Year. Peace out, everybody.